I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good morning, good morning, Alistair Pugin. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful morning? Uh, great, and you? It's uh, I am good, a little bit overcast in Johannesburg, but okay, we right. do what we do. Yeah. You're in Johannesburg. How old music is that, right? <laughs> Yeah. I'm in Trinidad, which isn't too far from you, right? No idea. I don't. I failed this <laughs> year geography, and so I'm I'm geographically challenged. Yeah, yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah, but that's friend. Trinidad and Tobago, hey? Yeah. Yeah, it is Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a wonderful. Well, you do know the name, which is great, right? I'll take that, my friend. I'll take that. <laughs> As to tell us, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? I think it's because I run a podcast, a weekly podcast called Two Guys in SharePoint. I think yeah. that's how you found me. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the podcast, please. So, Two Guys in SharePoint, it's myself and my co host, uh, Roderick Modlin, and we talk about Microsoft technologies in general. So, think of it as Top Gear meets Whose Line Is It Anyway? That's the overall theme for the show. Mm, I love the way you said that. So, who did you learn the skill of podcasting from, Alistair? Good question. So, if my co host, Roderick Modlin, used to run a podcast about two or three years ago about, I think it was uh, Magic the Gathering, you know, that sort of card game. And I've worked with him for a number of years and his suggestion was, let's do an IT podcast. And that's where it started really. So it was just having a conversation. Look, I'm I'm a, a speaker, I present at user groups, I run user groups, I run events. And I think it's just a natural gravity, uh, sort of gravitated towards uh, being able to do this. Hmm, that's amazing. Are you having fun doing it? Best thing I could have done. Best. <laughs> uh, yeah, we recorded, we published episode 49 this morning. We do one episode a week. We're more than a year into it, and I don't think I'd ever stop. Oh, how has it changed your life? How has it impacted your life? Well, the nice thing about the show is it's it's kept me current with technology. So we have a new segment on, well, we've got two new segments on the show, and it, it forces us to make sure that we are current with the way Microsoft releases technologies. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft, what we call, they have a three-week release cycle instead of a three-year release cycle. So every week there's something new coming from Microsoft in the space that both myself and Rod are in. And we have to do research and make sure that what we're talking to, what we are announcing on the show and talking to each other about, we actually know what we're talking about because the new segment is the important bit. So it's made me keep up and also keep up to date with technology far more than I would normally do in, in my career as a consultant. Mm. So it's definitely assisted me with being able to keep on top of what's happening in the space. That's pretty cool. Now, where's the best place for someone to connect with you, Alistair? Even the podcast? Just uh, do a search for Two Guys in SharePoint. Uh, we'll come up on your favorite podcast uh, application. So we are on iTunes. So if you go to podcast uh, podcast app on your your Apple device, do a search for two guys in SharePoint one word, or you can find us on SoundCloud, on TuneIn, on Stitcher. We are on every podcast app of choice. So Wonderful. even on Pocket Cast and Android, just search for two guys in SharePoint. You will find us. Same on Twitter. Well, my friend, tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years. It's really promote community. Um, I'm a big fan of community, a big fan of learning through sharing. So being able to help other people achieve their goals, um, assist them with growth in the Microsoft space, specifically around Office 365 and the productivity stack, that's been very close to my heart. And the uh, um, concept of inclusion, um, it doesn't matter what your race, creed, color, um, sexual uh, preference is, um, we, we practice the inclusion. Hmm. And that's important because at the end of the day, it's learning through sharing and, and um, that's where we want to go with, with what I do and, and what I believe community is really about. How does that make you feel? It's good. It's, it's, I love seeing people grow, being able to watch someone present in front of an audience for the first time and them overcoming that nervousness to portray their message. That for me is my take on that's That's my, my excitement. Hmm. And for me, that's, that's where it's at for me. 
Yeah. So just to someone that's listening out there, the value or and the importance of community. Community is where everything starts. As you grow up, uh, you walk out of your house, you've got a neighbor, and you socialize with other kids in your neighborhood. That's community. So it doesn't matter what industry vertical you're in. There's always communities, and communities help other communities grow. Um, there's no there's no class in a community. There's no levels in a community. So it doesn't matter if you're a doctor, if you're a CIO or a CEO from a company, or you're an administrator at an organization. Community doesn't have levels. And that's my message, because at the end of the day, we're all humans. Mm. And to be able to humanize everything we're working with or passionate about is important. Amazing audience, you're hearing it live here with Alistair Pugin. Again, he is the podcast host, well, the podcast co-host of Two Guys and SharePoint. Do check that out, Alistair. Let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Alistair, what is your earliest childhood memory? Having my tonsils taken out. Hmm. How old were you? Yeah. I think it was three, three and a half, yeah. Why do you think it's so clear? Because I remember I hated it. I didn't want to go. And uh, my parents sort of bribed me with, with, I can get a cat if I go. And I went and it was traumatic. So uh, I think it's because of the trauma associated <laughs> with the event that, that I actually remember it as, as clear as day. Did you get the cat? I did get the cat. Her name was Purdy. She lived with me for 15 years. Wow. It was a ginger. It was a ginger, yeah. She she wasn't very sort of touchy-feely as typical cats are. She used to sit in the window, sit on the windowsill and just look at the, the world go by. Wow. That's amazing. What well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah. It's fascinating to me, uh, the idea of needing to lose something to get something that is of more value. Um, so to see that you needed to lose your tonsil, well, to get it taken out actually, um, yeah. to then develop um, an addition to your community and now to see you understand as well that sometimes you need to lose things to as well develop community, sacrifice things like time, yeah? time things like um, the idea of who's big or who's small, but just to understand that you are the individual that are bringing that value. And it's fascinating that you understood the space of the cat and respecting that, that she was quiet, right? So she stood in the window and she was who she is. It's fascinating to me how those things connect. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and strange that personality of cats are very sort of compassionate and they love caring and cuddling and all of those things, whereas Purdy wasn't that sort of cat. Yeah. Pretty, love the name. Pretty, come pretty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the stuff we fast forwarded to when you were twelve years old. What was your favorite song? It must have been a track from, I think, Bros at the time. Um, when will I be famous or drop the boy? I think Bros was big, but when I was twelve. All right, all right. When will I be famous? Love it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Alistair, my friend, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form, so it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Alistair? Alistair, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? I have, yes. Are you married? Kind of. Do you have children? I do, yes. Do you believe in God? Half and half. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Yes. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? It's more than eight hours a day. Alistair, after a thousand and one conversations in three months in 2016, I came up with a workbook. The name of it is called Yours. It stands for your own unique real self. And the idea is you answer questions in self-discovery just like these to hopefully connect you to your mission, which I call your own unique real statement. If you, Alistair, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Alistair Pugin, what would you say that is? To help people is probably the best thing anyone else could do in the mm, world. Love it. Alistair, this has been a great pleasure before you leave. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Just keep passing on, keep paying it forward. Mm. There's real value in helping others. 
Um, and it's a spiritual thing. Mm-hmm. Hey, Alistair, again, I tell you thanks a million. Thanks for being here. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thanks, Angel. Go well. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.